I want to share with you an inspiring story about an athlete's journey to success. It's a story about finding a unique strength and using it to win. And it's a story that any business that wants to be successful should pay attention to. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to win every race. At 10 years old, I was the fastest skater on the lake where I grew up. At age 23, I made it to the US Olympic speed skating team and I thought my dreams had come true. But at age 25, I was voted off the team and sent home. But that's nowhere near the end of this story. Speed skating is a challenging sport. You travel at over 30 miles an hour on blades a millimeter thick with G-forces on the corners that effectively triple your body weight. In sports and in business, it takes constant effort and constant focus to get to the top. But you also need the right strategy, a strategy that makes the most of your unique strengths and unlocks your full potential. When I first made the national team, we took a series of performance tests. To my dismay, I did terribly, the lowest scores of anyone on the team. The only thing I was good at was accelerating powerfully, but only for a few seconds. This was not much use when the shortest skating event was 40 seconds. For the next two years, I focused intensely on fixing my weaknesses. But no matter how hard I trained, my performance actually got worse. Eventually, I was sent home and I started training on my own. And as I planned my workouts, I remembered the voice of one of my childhood coaches. I could hear it in my head, race your strengths, race your strengths. Here's my one specific superpower. I'm able to generate a lot of power for short bursts, all while traveling at high speeds and maintaining my balance. I thought, what if I change my technique to take a very tight inside line into each corner? A very risky approach, but it would allow me to deploy a burst of power in each turn and leverage my superpower. I practiced this approach hard and returned to the U.S. World Team Trials one year later. And in my very first race back, I broke the U.S. national record by more than five seconds and skated more than a second faster than the world record. Same me, same skates, same skin suit, but by designing for my strengths, the improvement in performance wasn't just incremental, it was a real breakthrough. We're all tempted to focus on our weaknesses at times. Why not fix what's broken? But the truth is that takes energy away from what really matters. The most successful companies focus on doing the things that they do better than anybody else. Let's take a look at a few companies that use their unique capabilities to set themselves apart and drive their success. If you want to build the best computer in the world, it makes sense to get the best engineers to work on it. That is exactly what tech companies used to do, and it worked until one day a company did something different. Apple shifted the focus from pure engineering to the best possible user experience by putting design capabilities at the heart of their business. They hired designers from the fashion industry, created a chief design officer position on their senior team, and created devices that made no compromise when it came to elegant design and intuitive interfaces. Apple's design capability became one of the critical forces behind their expansion into many other categories. Focusing on your unique strengths can help you stand out in any industry. Take Semex. When you're selling commodities, it can be difficult to differentiate yourself from the competition. But what if you found a way to create a unique advantage? Cement and concrete manufacturer Semex did exactly that. They leveraged their strength at managing large infrastructure projects to build a new business. They went beyond just selling cement and supported and advised their large municipal customers on everything from planning and procuring permits to executing projects. By getting close to their customers and selling solutions instead of focusing on commodity products, Semex changed the game in the building materials industry. Or in the case of IKEA, what if you ordered a meal at a restaurant and were sent to fetch the ingredients yourself? Not exactly a recipe for success. But if you think about it, that's what IKEA did. IKEA innovated a totally different way of developing furniture. 
Their designers optimize every possible parameter to create stylish furniture at very low cost, including choosing the right materials, improving logistics, and involving customers in the process. With this approach, IKEA created a whole new category of low-cost home furnishing. Rather than be put off by having to assemble furniture themselves, customers flock to their stores to pick up a flat pack. These winning companies don't try to copy what others do or try to be good at everything. They play on their own terms. Almost all organizations have amazing strengths, but they're often hidden and hard to find. At Strategy and PwC Strategy Consulting Business, we have decades of experience helping companies discover their unique strengths, develop their capabilities, and change the game for their business. Strategy and Strategy Made Real.